So we have the graph of an exponential function here, and the function is m of x. And what I want to do is figure out what is m of 6 going to be equal to. And like always, pause the video and see if you can work it out. Well, as I mentioned, this is an exponential function. So m is going to take the form, let me write it this way, m of x is going to take the form a times r to the x power, where a is our initial value and r is our common ratio. Well, the initial value is pretty straightforward. It's just going to be what m of 0 is. So a is going to be equal to m of 0. And we can just look at this graph. When x is equal to 0, the function is equal to 9. So it's equal to 9. And now we need to figure out our common ratio. So let me set up a little bit of a table here just to help us with this. So let me draw some straight lines. And so this is x and m of x. We already know that when x is 0, m of x is equal to 9. We also know when x is, let's see, when x is 1, when x is 1, m of x is 3. m of x is 3. So when we, when we increase our x by 1, what happened to our m of x? Well, what did we have to multiply it by? Well, to go from 9 to 3, you multiplied by 1 third. So that's going to be our common ratio. And in fact, if we wanted to care what, what m of 2 is going to be, we would multiply by 1 third again. And m of 2 should be equal to 1. And we see that right over here. m of 2 is indeed equal to 1. So our common ratio, our common ratio right over here is equal to 1 third. So m of x, we can write it as m of x is going to be equal to our initial value, a, which we already figured out as a is, a is equal to 9. So it's going to be 9 times our common ratio, times our common ratio, 1 third to the x power. So I was able to figure out the, the formula for our definition for m of x, but that's not what I wanted. I just wanted to figure out what m of 6 is going to be. So we can write down that m of 6, m of 6 is going to be 9 times 1 over 3 to the 6th power. Let's see, that is going to be equal to, that's the same thing as 9 times, well, 1 to the 6th is just 1. And so it's going to be 1 to the 6th, which is just 1 over 3 to the 6th power. Now, what is 3 to the 6th power? In fact, I could even simplify this a little bit more. I could recognize that 9 is 3 squared. So I could say this is going to be 3 squared over 3 to the 6th. 3 squared over 3 to the 6th. And then I could tackle this a couple of ways. I could just divide the numerator and the denominator by 3 squared, in which case I would get 1 over 3 to the 4th power. Or another way to think about it, this would be the same thing as 3 to the 2 minus 6th power, which is the same thing as 3 to the negative 4 power, which of course is the same thing as 1 over 3 to the 4th. So what's 3 to the 4th? So 3 squared is 9, 3 to the 3rd is 27, 3 to the 4th is 81. So this is going to be equal to 1 over 81. m of 6 is equal to 1 over 81. We could also have done that if we kept going by our table. m of 3 multiplied by 1 third is going to be 1 third. m of 4 multiplied by 1 third again is going to be 1 ninth. And we could, m of 5 is going to be 1 27th, and m of 6 is going to be 1 81st.